If you're doing a high stakes bank heist, this is the getaway car you don't want. My name's Leandro Demon Riva. This is the Educated Barfly. The face after he's done making the drinks is awesome. LOL. Let's get into making the cocktails. Today's cocktail was created by New York City bartender Megan Dorman for the Rains City Law Room. Got a, kind of a half huge lime we can use here. Give it the old squeeze. Half an ounce of lime juice, and that was exactly half an ounce. I'm gonna do half an ounce of simple syrup. That's a one to one ounce and a half of pineapple juice. And then because we were using Ancho Reyes in a past video pretty recently, I thought, why not do another Ancho Reyes cocktail? So we're gonna do one ounce of Ancho Reyes chili liqueur. Get the cap back on. An ounce of aged rum, but preferably this Appleton Signature, if you can find it. If not, just uh, kind of like aged Jamaican rum would be really nice. It is a pebbleized cocktail, surprise, surprise. So we're just gonna do a little skosher, give it a nice whip shake. You know what's funny is that usually I do my whip shake with one hand. I was gonna do it with this hand and then I realized the weight of this so heavy, I was like about to drop it. So I had to just grab it with two hands. But if you shake with two hands, shake from the heart. It's a shake and dump. So, fill the rest up with the pebble. I'm gonna do this correct way, Marius. I'm gonna grab one of these guys, do a lime like that. And then we got a little ancho chili powder here and we're just gonna sprinkle it on top like so. Now, usually this is a pebble ice cocktail. You'll be sipping it through a straw, but I wanna get a little kick of that ancho chili powder. So I'm gonna just take a sip off the top like so. Oh yeah, that works nicely. Really tropical in character. You get the rum right up front. The chili is really nice, but what's really great about this is that you get that nice kick of chili right off the top. And then that chili powder, if you sip it the way that I did, obviously we'll be using a um, straw, if you know, if you're serving it to a client in the bar or something, but the Ancho Reyes gives it like a little bit of spice. You get all of the rum right there. It's a nice split base. Lime juice providing more acid than the pineapple is gonna give you. You're gonna get the pineapple. Simple syrup balances everything out. Make sure that uh, you've got a really nice balance between sweet and spicy. And it's a really nice jungle bird variation, which is basically what this is. So Megan Dorman is really known for her streamlined kind of style of cocktails, which I really like because that's sort of my same aesthetic. I like things that are really elegant and clean. This is great because it's a very simple looking drink, but it has got a very complex flavor profile. Uh, this cocktail also, I decided to make it because it has been making the rounds on my Discord. I say my Discord as if I started it, but really the Discord was started by the fans. And if you guys have not been to the Discord, you should check it out. It's really pretty, pretty great community of people. Anyway, they decided that they would make it. And then a couple of people that were making it on the Discord didn't have the original Ancho Reyes, which looks like this. So they only had the Verde style. So they make a green chili liqueur as well. Uh, that also works just as well in this drink. So if you don't have that, you can have that. Also, people are gonna be asking me for subs. Quite honestly, I'm not really sure that I know of a very natural sub for Ancho Reyes, but I would say try and find a pepper or a chili liqueur and kind of sub out for that. It would also be kind of fun to try and make our own chili liqueur, sub it into this cocktail and see if it does a good job. That's all I got, I think, on this cocktail. It's pretty simple, straightforward kind of deal. Could you do like uh, pepper infused vodka with that? Similar yeah, I think so. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I think that, you know, liqueurs have a measure of sugar in them. So their texture is going to be a little bit different. If you uh, add pep, we actually have uh, a St. George Spirits makes a, a chili vodka that we have there. And I'm going to say, yes, it's going to work in this drink for sure. The texture might be a little bit different though, because it's not a liqueur. That being said, you could, you might be able to just add a little sugar to that or add a little bit more sugar into here to sort of balance it out. Yeah. But I could see the balance being thrown off by that chili vodka, but it's to totally workable. So you can absolutely do that. Well, that's all I got for you on this cocktail. I hope you guys go out and make it. Um, it is very simple, but it is fantastic. And I think that, uh, I don't know, this is one of my favorites that I've done this year, I think. So go get it. Uh, I don't know if I, I, you know, what's really funny is that 
Uh, I keep on saying this cocktail, this, this cocktail, that. I'm not sure that I told anyone what the name of the cocktail is. So this cocktail is called the Getaway Car, mm. um, which is a great name for a cocktail. There you have it. If you like this channel, please think about hitting like, think about hitting subscribe. You know, Don't even hit just that think bell about icon. It. Do it. Just do it. All right, just do it. All right. So if you like this channel, definitely hit like, definitely hit subscribe, hit the bell icon if you want to be notified when we drop videos. Uh, check out our website, theeducatedbarfly.com for recipes, articles, our virtual bottle program, lots of other fun stuff. And then I want to also thank uh, our patrons and our YouTube members for making this channel not only possible, but really raising it to the heights that it has it has risen to. I, we, we would not be able to do it without you. And we really, really appreciate you guys. Uh, I don't want to lay it on too thick. I just want to let you know it's not lost on us. We love you guys. And I'll see you guys. I said you guys so many times in a row just now. But I will see you guys on another time. Face after he makes. And the face after he's done making drinks, making the drinks is awesome. The face he makes after he's done making the drinks is awesome. The face after he's done making the drinks is awesome. The face after he's done making the drinks is awesome. Okay. My name is Leandro Demon Riva. This is the Educated Barfly. The face after he makes the drinks. No, the face after he's done. Okay. My name is Leandro Demon Riva. This is the Educated Barfly. The face after he's done making the drinks is awesome. Let's get into making the cocktails. Hello. The.